Hello, it's Sarah. I'm going to share some corks that I altered today. And um, first I want to say I got my corks on Amazon. Uh, I got 100 corks for about 14 something, $15. And they're used. They're from restaurants and bars and some of them have stains from red wine and things like that. Um, but there were plenty in the in the batch that I could work with. This one actually is a synthetic cork. It's not actual cork and It didn't seem like it was Adhering things wouldn't adhere to it too well. So I just ripped off what I had on there and used a different one um, but uh, Okay, good, so that's that and then I had watched a couple of other videos about altering corks and a lot of people were using the Tim Holtz, I don't have the packaging so I forget what they're called, but these little things that like, I think they're tag holders, you stick a tag in there and you know, it's a little stake type thing. So they were using these to, to for the top and the bottom of the cork because you could thread beads onto them and stuff, so I went ahead and used them. I, I hadn't really used many of them, so I figured it was a good um, opportunity. And... All right, so let's let me tell you uh, one more one other thing is these two were inspired by the Black Butterfly 62. She has a video up called Steampunk Altered Corks for the UK something something, um, and she definitely inspired me to make these two. So actually, these were the first two that I made. I just pulled out all my metal findings and things. Um, I'll share this one first. I did use the Tim Holtz swivel clasps on a couple of them. I just took the chain off and attached the, the swivel part to the top and I used the chain on part of the chain at least for the bottom for the um, dangles. So I used that as well. Um, I used just beads that I had in my stash. This one, um, this these butterfly wings, I cut, this is Butterbee scraps I believe, these um, metal findings. <laughs> I cut them in half with my Tim Holtz scissors, my tonic scissors, and cut a slot in the side of the cork with my X-Acto knife and just put some um, glossy accents on and slid it into the slot. I put some trims on top. I adhered a butterfly and some beads, uh, filigree bead caps, um, put a little another purple bead and some bead caps down there and a butterfly and then made this uh, little bead dangle. Oh, there's peace signs on these wings, which I actually never really realized until I made this. I've, I've used them before and I didn't realize it. Uh, so I, I just put a little peace sign charm down here too. Um, and this big acrylic butterfly, um, a little tiny butterfly charm up here. So that was my first one. And then this one is a lot more steampunky. I actually just wanted it to be all the colors of metal that I had in my stash, <clears throat> I just kind of tried to um, add in as much as I could. So it has, again, the swivel clasp at the top. I just had this metal bead. I had a couple gears, and I just dangled them. And then these, I think this was a flower, and I actually, it had a round part that went here, too, in between each of those, and I just cut that out so that it would bend around the top of the um, cork. So I did two of those the same way and just like centered it as best I could and folded it down. And then I put a, um, another gear on the very top and some beads. Um, then this is just a chain and it's pretty much how it comes. I got this at Hobby Lobby, these little um, lock and key charms and I just kind of went lock key lock key lock key all around the chain and adhered it to the back and it just like dangles freely. Um, I put this little it was bendable so I figured I'd kind of fit it to the cork and then I took my X-Acto knife and put a little slit in the cork again and stuck this key right down in there and with some glossy accents and then just put these wings dangling from the key and then on the bottom I bent that up again and put a filigree bead cap, another couple more metal beads, a metal butterfly, and just this big key on the bottom. I had other charms on the bottom too, but I just thought it was too much. I thought there was too much going on. So this was definitely inspired by, if you see the Black Butterfly 62's video, you'll see. I mean, she actually did, oopsie, 
the very same thing with the key and um, then the rest I mean she had some chain dangling a different type of um, clasp at the top and stuff but anyway so those two were my inspirations by her and I, I, I think these are my favorites but then I also have some with just fabric this one, I mean, I, I start going with an idea and then I don't know how it's going to turn out. I'm trying to see if this white background helps me focus on these better because I I don't know if it's going to. Um, use the swivel clasp again. Just some more beads. This is actually a black rose that I just like stuck a hole in and stuck it down in there. Um, some trims and ribbon and some bling and some more beads on the bottom and I made a little bead dangle to hang on the bottom with some flowers. So it's my black and pink little version. There is a back and a front too, so you can see where um, things are joining up in the back. So there's definitely a back and a front. So I did that one. This is my purple and pink one. Now this one I used, um, I guess this is a, um, I think it's just a lobster cloth or jewelry, a jewelry finding. And I had that in my stash and it matched the metal. I used the different color uh, pin for this one. So this is just, I just put some, oops, let me put some pink and, I mean, pink and purple trim there and some purple ribbon and some purple bling and then this acrylic flower that I had in my stash. So this one's just really simple, just a purple um, Swarovski flower up there. And then this one's blue, and again, I had the, the big lobster claw, so I just used that with a jump ring attached to the top. Um, some A blue couple beads, and put some trim going up and down, and then uh, the bling, actually, see, I can feel it coming off, but it doesn't stick really well to the cork itself, but it does stick, a, it sticks much better when you stick it to the ribbon. So, I mean, I didn't use any other type of adhesive but what the self-sticking adhesive that it comes with. So, and then more blue beads and some more blue beads on the bottom. So that's just blue. And then this one I like. This one's just white. Let's see if that's the back. No, that's the front. And I put this little, let's see if you can see it. Oh, it might not show up very well in front of the white. But I did, again, one of those bit large lobster claws. I put a little love dangle up there and I kept this one just clear beads and pearls. I tried to keep it clear and pearls and some ribbon, um, heart shaped ribbon that I had in my stash. Just put a little bling on that and then this is just um, a pearl and lace ribbon that I put on top and bottom and some more beads and then a little bead dangle. So really simple actually and what did I put down here? joy so love and joy so they're they're pretty cool they're pretty easy to make so I mean I had all my supplies on my desk though when I was doing it, it was crazy all right so I really like these though check out um, the black butterflies video because hers hers are different and they're really cool and I was definitely inspired by um, what she had done with hers and uh, that's why I love YouTube because as you guys, anybody who knows my, has seen my videos before knows, I don't really think of these ideas myself. I definitely get a lot of inspiration from watching you guys and what you're up to and what your um, creative ideas are. So I hope I've inspired someone too. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.